Samsung's new Atif Q Hybrid. Now it's a hybrid not only because it's a laptop and a tablet, also because it runs Windows 8 and Android Jelly Bean operating systems. The idea being that you can switch between the two mobile and computing operating systems and get the best of both tablet and laptop worlds. Let's take a look at it and see what it can do. The Atif Q is 13.9 millimeters thick and 1.2 kilograms in weight, so it's portable enough for your everyday needs. One thing is though, you'll carry it around with a screen showing, so you're definitely going to need a case for it. When you're switching between Android and Windows, there's the ability to pin Android apps to the Windows Start menu. I'm unsure how well that will work. For example, if you're using a Windows computer, you're probably not going to want to play Angry Birds at the same time you're editing an Office document. Now the other noteworthy thing about the Active Q is its screen. It's a 13.3 inch screen, which is good for your laptop needs, but one remarkable thing about it is its resolution. It's 3200 by 1800 pixels, which is incredibly good. I like the Atif Q as a tablet and as a laptop it's really nice, especially its design which you can slide out and set up in a number of manners, prop it up, use it as a full on keyboard or just hold it in a weird sort of coffee table stance. Whether or not you like to combine the two functionalities remains to be seen. I like to use my tablet for play and my laptop for work. Samsung are betting on the fact that if you combine the two then you'll get a lot more work done and a lot more play too. For more information on the Atif Q, head over to witch.co.uk forward slash technology.